Hey guys, I'm Lucky Man back here for another video. Guys, welcome back to the episode of my daily sniping series. Let's get started right away, guys. So I want to talk about is going to be how to snipe during this Christmas promo to actually go ahead and make some coins. So going ahead, starting off right away, what you're going to want to go ahead and snipe is going to be the gold cards. And the reason why the golds is because you can simply flip them very easily and not lose any coins. Also, the risk is not that high because of the fact that they're low overall, they do not cost that much, and you go ahead and just flip them right back and go ahead and make a quick a very quick profit so there's a couple ways you can do this first off you can go ahead and just go through the auction block and do it this way now this way is possible and it's definitely a little challenging but you can definitely go ahead and snipe them this way by going ahead and just sorting buy zero chill promo out of position and go ahead right here if i wanted to i could buy this put it back up and i can make a hundred coin snipe again this this is all about you know being as quick as possible especially with this promo and going ahead and just making coins like that now again as i said a lot of times you have to be very very quick because you're going to see a lot of times where you know these cards are put up and at the time if you're not quick enough you're going to get bought out instantly they're going to buy the card bam and you're going to miss it so once you go through these you have to be very quick to go right to the card buy it and go on and then put it back up and redo the process over and over again now again you can do this by looking at the auction lock or you can go ahead and do this by going to the set now when it comes to the auction block the one thing i want to recommend is going to be just keep in mind you're not seeing the newest one up because of the fact of how how crowded this market is right now with these cards you're never going to see the newest one up unless you at you know really really late at night in the early morning and then you're going to go ahead and see the newest one up next thing you can do is go ahead and just go to this set right here and we go ahead and look at these players right here same concept just going ahead and doing this bam nothing and then going back and then going back and forth now let's see if this actually works like this um Okay, so not that bad. So you know, you have to keep in mind that you want to buy them for less than 4,000 coins, right? So go ahead and just go into the set, click X one time, and you see, okay, none of these are less than 4,000 coins. Keep doing this back and forth. Now, of course, this is a lot easier than going ahead and doing what I was talking about before, where you go ahead and go through each single position. The idea of what I'm showing you here is that it just shows you five random ones, and maybe one of them is below 4K, and you can go ahead and get them just like that. So again, not the best idea. Probably not going to show you the best results, but you can go ahead and do it this way by just going back and forth and saying, okay, as you can see, every single time, five different players show up. With that in mind, there's not much ways to snipe outside of that because of the fact that these cards, you know, there's all wildcat uh, cards. If they were actually specific cards that where you had to do exactly this card or that card or this card or that card, you can go ahead and just snipe at a single card. Because you can't do that, it's a lot more difficult. And again, you're going to want to have to do is go ahead and use the auction block to make the coins in that aspect. Now you can go ahead and snipe the elite ones if you want. I'm just saying for you know the best return on your profit, I would go with the smaller overall gold ones just because there's not much risk. You know, if the prices randomly tank for some reason, you're not gonna lose too much doing that. So hopefully this helped you out guys. If you did, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.